This is Kevini and Catherine, your DIY Hi. chicks. We're here this week. We are going to be talking about a cool piece of driftwood with some uh, succulents in them. So in this first shot here, Kevin is showing us um, the piece of driftwood she picked out. Um, she said there was a hole in the bottom, so she put a little piece of um, weed mat down in there um, just for so the soil wouldn't be falling out through the hole. And you can use cocoa liner mm -hmm. if you need to. Coconut liner, yep. Yeah. Got the soil in here. Um, do it kind of halfway to the, um, through. So if you do have a pick a piece of driftwood that has a big hole, just do it half because you want to put your plants in there. Yeah, you want to leave room for the um, bottoms of them, just like when we do the pots. Um, yeah. Same kind of concept. So she's going in with her first succulent right here. Um, this is a nice yellow succulent, which is fun because most of the succulents that look like that are like purples or greens. Yeah. And so it's kind of nice to have a bright one right there. Make something a little different. In this little part, um, we had a lot of old succulents. So this piece was actually one that's kind of sp sprawled out a little bit. So I'm just using the cuttings of him. You can use fully planted ones and you can use cuttings. They will regenerate new roots. So um, you could just stick them right down in the soil just like I did right here. Pull off any old yucky leaves mm -hmm. that are on there. Yeah. Um, as you can see, that's what I did with any that one. Any rotting or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, just kind of get the new fresh leaves. Even if it looks a little bare, it's fine. It'll regrow yeah, it'll and kind of create a nice <coughs> thick, bushy look. Mm -hmm. And so she's going in here with a little bit of soil in these little tiny crevices here. Um, we were talking about how we have some different tools, some terrarium tools, which would be really helpful here. So there's a little set that we carry, and you can probably find it at most garden shops that has a little shovel in it, a little tiny pair of tweezers, and there's one other thing. I'm not sure. Is it a, like it's like a little stick or something to help poke yeah, things in Yeah, it's a little stick just to kind of get it down in there, especially <coughs> if you, like with terrariums and with these pieces of driftwood. If they're in weird spots mm -hmm. and like little corners, that's a deep piece of glass, or like this wood, for example, those bigger pieces, I could have been able to use it just to get the soil the roots just down, to in, poke there down in there yeah. yeah and the tweezers are nice because sometimes your fingers can't reach in those little tiny crevices and you can use the tweezers just to stick the plant right down in there so yeah. that's that's a those are pretty handy tools that <laughs> unfortunately we didn't have in this video yeah. but maybe next time and then up top here I've added some little tiny um, succulents that we had on the table that just kind of look like um, they're kind of doing downhill so I got them out the pot and I wanted to actually plant them up so if you do have any small terrain, uh, succulents excuse me, that don't look as good, you can always um, rehab them um, like I do in this, in this piece of driftwood. Um, you can take them and put them in a new spot and they'll be just as happy mm -hmm. and they'll regrow. Yeah, and, and part of the reason why they might not have looked so good is succulents don't like to have too much water. We've had a lot of rain here in, in Jacksonville, Florida recently, and so a lot of them have kind of got a little bit of fungus or started, you know, growing outwards, stuff like that. And so those are some of the ones Kevin is using in this video yeah. to plant up. And you can see I'm just trying to figure out a spot where to put this one. Um, you can be creative. Um, you can move the succulent around as many times as you want. Um, like with this one, I think I had it up top here, and then um, I'm going to move it towards the bottom. I added a little bit more soil, only because uh, the way that this piece of driftwood is, um, it has a little bit of elevation, and so I wanted some of these to kind of show up top, so that's what I did. I put that soil, kind of made mm -hmm. like a hill effect, and I kind of stuffed these guys in towards yeah. the back, just to kind of create a more full fuller look. And it's nice with the succulents you can do um, angled stuff like that because they don't require as much water. Um, with normal plants it's a little bit harder to plant on an angle because the water just runs off. Yep. Um, but like I said with the succulents you don't have to worry as much with the water so yep. it's really nice that you can be creative with that and kind of play around. So You can see we have all kind of textures and colors. Um, we got the jade that I'm putting down here. That guy's going to spill over and kind of stick out a little mm -hmm. bit. So yeah. he's going to be really cool once you start growing. So it's small right now. It will get bigger. So just don't worry. Um, if you do have a little space like how this little area is, it will fill in and um, it'll be so beautiful. Yeah, it'll be really nice. Yeah. They're just filling in those cracks with all the little pieces. Um, the drift is really fun because every piece is different, so you get to kind of play around and work and see which little crevices you can actually put stuff. You might find one that's a little bit too small for one, and that's okay, or, um, you know, kind of some of them you can just shove in there. <laughs> yeah, and you can see I kind of was like, no, this is not going to fit, so I'm going to just take it out. And like I said, you can just be creative. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you don't have to stick to one thing. 
Um, we got our moss here. This is for this is decorative moss. This is not live moss. Um, they do sell live moss. You can get it at any local uh, garden center in your area. Um, but I'm just filling in any cracks just to kind of give it a more natural mm -hmm, look. Mm -hmm. um, any spots where I couldn't fit any succulents, um, that's where we put um, the moss in. This moss is actually from Super Moss, which is a company, a uh, uh, national company, and they have all colors. They have, you know, dark green, lime green, they have purples, yeah. blues, they have Any all kinds of colors. Imagine. Yeah. So if you do have a bag that has a mixture of colors, don't be afraid to add in a little bit of white moss, a little bit of green, and you can do a little bit of something. Mm -hmm. It'll just kind of act almost like a little filler, yeah. which gives it a really pretty effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's also nice because it helps to hold the soil in a little bit too. If you have those little crevices, um, it keeps it from falling out. So, yeah. so there's the final project. She's just shoving in a few last pieces and looks like it's done. Got a small overview here. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel mm -hmm. if you love our stuff. Um, definitely subscribe, like us on Facebook, um, and follow us on Instagram. We put lots of pictures up. We love doing succulent things, so you might see a lot of succulent videos. Mm -hmm. If you're just nerdy about succulents, just yeah. like we are, definitely subscribe to our channel. We love picking. Um, this is our second driftwood piece, and um, definitely keep stay, stay tuned to our channel. Thank you. Thank you.